Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 53. Hey, as always, if you want to download this workbook, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 53 to 57. Hey, this YouTuber said he had a list of receipts. These were from audit clients, but there was a bunch of duplicate entries, and all he wanted to do was count the entries that are greater than 30, but he didn't want to count the duplicates. Now, actually, we're going to see four different ways. So uh, to trick 53 to 56, we'll see four different ways. Well, first off, so our goal is to count the unique occurrences that are greater than $30. The first way is we'll just do a pivot table. There's a great feature about pivot table. Once you do a pivot table and drop a field into the row, it'll give you a unique list. Let's go to insert, pivot table, pivot table. In 2003, you, of course, go to the data menu and then pivot table. Click on pivot table. In 2003, you have to go through three steps. Here in 2007, you just, there's the table, and there is the existing worksheet. I'm going to click that. And then the location, I'm going to say put it right in D8. And then click OK. Now watch this. All I have to do is take this uh, one field we have here and drag it to the row levels. In 2003, you actually drag it to the sheet. Actually, I have this. This is similar to 2003. You, in 2003, would have to click and drag there. Otherwise, we would click and drag. I'm going to drag this away. In 2007, you click and drag to row labels. Now I'm going to close my field list, and there you have it. You have a unique list of items, just like that. All the duplicates. So here's 7871. If we go down here, we could see there's just one 7871. There's a couple duplicates. Uh, down here, there's a bunch of 8338s. And so if we go here, there's just one of them. Now we can just build our little count if up here. I'm going to expand the uh, size. Control and roll your mouse equals count if. The range, I'm going to click in this top range and control shift down arrow. Now look at that. It, it got the grand, grand total. You can actually do this a couple ways. If you hold shift and up arrow, it will go up just one. However, you could also use your mouse. If you point to the edge like this for any range, uh, whether it's a chart or a function, you can actually move the uh, range. So there is the range to count. And what's our criteria? Comma. And since we want greater than or equal to, and we have uh, our $30 in a cell here, we're going to have to put the greater than in quotes. So double quote, greater than. Actually, it's greater than, he said, not greater than or equal to. So and double quote, and then ampersand. That will join this greater than and this 30. Close parentheses and enter. And there you have it. There were 24 items, unique items, that were greater than 30. Hey, when we come back, we'll see a couple other ways. All right, see you next YouTube trick.